Hi everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm gonna to talk about my endeavor of, of picking out custom wheels. Now, the primary reason was the disc brake conversion I'm doing, which I have other videos about. Um, the stock rims did not fit the disc brake in two places. One, the hub hole on the wheel is too small to fit over the hub of the disc brake. The other problem is the contour of the rim um, is not shaped right to accommodate disc brakes, right? So basically you'll, you'll hit the caliper uh, on the inside of the wheel. Um, at least I think on my original wheels, you will. Uh, and um, there are companies that will widen out the hub hole, um, but you know, that's kind of a big job and I kind of wanted new wheels anyway. These are a little crusty looking, one of them's dented. Um, and plus those just look really cool. I have always loved these. Um, so these are 17 by eights. The originals are 15 by sevens. So it's a little taller and a little wider. Um, the hub uh, opening clears the, uh, the disc hub and it fits over the rear drum brake as well. Now I was trying it with the steel version of these wheels, which are a little less expensive. The steel version fits over the disc brake, no problem. Clears everything in the front. This is the original size, this is 15 by seven. It did not clear the drum brake, surprisingly. I figured stock size would work, but the back spacing is a little deeper, so the problem I had was the edge of the rim actually hit the drum edge of the drum brake and the ba backing plate before the studs could even get through the holes. So that's a no-go for the rear. Um, so that's, this one's going back, but that's okay. I had a trial and error. Um, the other problem I found with these, this year car at least, a lot of the catalog data is wrong. So when you're in a catalog like Summit or Speedway, even Rock Auto, nothing against them. Like I believe they source the catalog data from somewhere else. But also these cars, the 66 is a little bit of an oddball year, I think. Certain things say they are for the year, but they're really not. Motor mounts is one. I won't get into that. But uh, a lot of the catalogs seem to think the bolt pattern is five by 4.75, which is not true. Not on this car. It's five by five, I measured. And it's, you have five bolt holes, and then you measure across the two furthest apart. That's five inches there. That's how you do it for a five bolt. Um, and the catalogs all say, this car is supposed to be 4.75, which makes it hard to filter on wheels that fit. So you got to go by the, the bolt pattern, filter on the bolt pattern. This wheel is a dual bolt pattern, which is kind of cool. It fits both five by five and five by 4.75. So that works. Um, one of the other things was um, some people were complaining, at least on the steel wheels, that they uh, couldn't balance them or they were out of true and um, that could be true. I, I don't know. Uh, it was just in the comments. But I did find these. These are hub, um, hub ring adapters. And these wheels, the hub opening is a bit bigger than the hub itself. Now, on my modern cars, um, typically when you slide the wheel on, that's a tight fit almost like it, it's uh, locating the wheel or, or piloting it on there, right? This being universal, um, you know, it fits all different years, all different manufacturers, cars, trucks, whatever. And uh, they're not all gonna have the same, the same hub size. So these, these adapters, I think, are supposed to help center it and pilot the wheel straight so when you, um, torque down the, the lug nuts, they're gonna hold the wheel in the right position. Now these have conical lug nuts, which I believe are supposed to pilot the wheel on, but um, you know, there's such a gap here. I, I feel like it's possible that you could potentially line it up wrong. So I found a set of these, they're $16. I'll show you how they go on on the other side. 
All right, so here's the, the hub mounting spot for where the wheel's supposed to ride. This piece just goes on over like that. I had to find one that fit the outer diameter of these disc brakes and the inner diameter of the wheels I chose. This one fits perfectly. They're just plastic, uh, but they're not meant to bear the weight. You know, the weight's held on by the, the studs. I think this just aligns the wheel straight. So when you do put the lug nuts on, it can't shift from side to side. Um, and I also got another set. It, they come in packs of four. I, I had to get two sets, one for the front, one for the back, because the back is a different size. If we go back here, you got the drum. Here's your piloting hub here. Um, and I did find a set that fits, but you can see that's that's too big. But there is a size that fits my wheel and over this, so I'll be good to go there. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I like the rims. I like the disc brakes. So more to come. Thanks, everybody.